Hello, this is Lee with Harpy Healing. I am live to talk about the Sunday, October 23rd guided group self-connection, which I am inviting you to. Um, thanks for joining. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what it will be like and the inspiration for it. I'm going to just share just like a few details to start. So there's a 90 minute guided group self-connection on Zoom, Sunday, October 23rd, 7 p.m. Eastern. And everyone who signs up for this group experience will also get a uh, receive a one-on-one -on -one compassionate inquiry session with me over Zoom. And that one-on-one -on -one session is 60 minutes. And the, um, the price for both of those is $88. Um, so I'm gonna just talk a little bit about what it will be like and also how I see both the group experience and a little bit about um, compassionate inquiry as well and the difference between the two experiences and how I see it all and what to expect, etc. Um, as soon as you sign up and register for the group experience, you can schedule, you'll receive a link and you can schedule your one-on-one -on -one session with me before or after the group experience anytime in October. November and there's a link in my bio to to go ahead and register anytime you're ready so um, I'm really excited to offer um, a group experience with the title heart body um, this is something I worked with my non-physical team on throughout the recent 13 month Akashic Records teacher training and uh, the real simple way to look at it is that it's a time and place for you to commit to connecting with your heart and your body. In the simplest way, that's what the group experience is. Um, there will be, um, the group experience will be recorded. The actual um, guided self-connection portion will be recorded. And there will um, be a little bit of time in the beginning um, not recorded for us to just maybe share a little bit get to know one another briefly, um, and it will be really, really um, intimate. I'll invite you to an intimacy with yourself by inviting you to connect with your heart and body. So in our world today, we're often in our minds, um, we're often in our thoughts, there's a lot of fast paced activity going on. Um, hi, thank you for joining. So, so part of the invitation too is to come down into our bodies, to come down from our minds and come into a felt sense, felt sensations, um, also emotions potentially. So that is another aspect of it. And I want to name a couple things about like who this is for. So um, the group experience is, is great for anyone who wants to commit to a time and place to connect with their heart and body. This can be for people who are new to, to that practice, um, people who have a hard time sensing or feeling, um, sensing, uh, let's say, tuning into sensations in their body. If you have a hard time doing that, this is a great invitation for you to just have a time and a place to come into getting to know that practice and what it's like for you. It's also great for anyone who's very familiar with connecting with body sensations and emotions. So really, it's an open invitation. Um, and the way my style is very much inviting you and very much honoring um, you just taking a breath and relaxing if something I invite you to um, doesn't feel right. So that's really important for me to name as well. Um, and this is also great for people who are new to somatic healing approaches. So uh, I'm trained in intuitive healing, transpersonal energy healing, and compassion inquiry, which are all somatic healing approaches, which means it includes um, body awareness. And um, what that actually looks like is a question like, when you connect with your body, is there any sensation? Um, and that's a question that might uh, arise in the Compassionate Inquiry one-on-one -on -one sessions um, often. And that's a way for us to connect with truth and wisdom that's not just in our mind and not just in our thoughts. So there's a lot more available to us when we're willing and able to just get curious about sensations in our bodies and also 
even what um, our heart says or how we have a relationship with our heart can inform how we experience the world around us and potentially how we make choices as well. So to be more heart and body connected brings a different balance into ourselves as individuals and as people, and it can also be really healing. Um, healing because we connect with ourselves and in that connection we become aware of our wholeness and we invite more parts of ourselves to be embraced and acknowledged and with. So our own awareness gets to go with our wholeness, which is how I, how I see the healing process. Um, so the group experience is experiential and private, so you will receive a recording, so you can also do it again and practice at another time. Um, also, um, yeah, the, the style of the offering of the um, group experience is also largely informed by my trainings in Hatha Yoga, Therapeutic Yoga, and even Yin Yoga. So it's not a yoga class, but there is that um, experiential training that I have had in my past that informs the way that I invite you to this work. So especially with therapeutic and yin yoga, there's a lot of quiet, inward turning and listening and, and receiving sensations in the body. So that's definitely um, a part of the group experience. Um, and so the group experience is different than the one-on-one -on -one session. The group experience is a way for you to come into a practice of connecting with your heart and body. The one-on-one -on -one compassionate inquiry session is based on an intention that you create for the session. And it's a lot deeper. So um, it's deeper because that 60 minutes in the compassionate inquiry session is for you to explore what's coming up in your body, what's coming up in general around a particular intention. And that could be an intention around something that happened. It could be an intention around something that you're working on for a long time. Um, a great example of an intention for a compassion inquiry session, it really can be so many different things, but it could be um, I'm having this relationship with my coworker and I find myself getting really agitated around them and I don't understand it. And I'd like to understand um, why I'm so agitated. Um, that's an example. Another example could be going through a grieving process and experiencing challenges in that grief process. Um, another example could be, you know, literally experiencing isolation and a lack of connection with others around you and wanting more connection, wanting more connection with yourself, wanting more connection with others, wanting a more enriching experience. Um, those are just a few examples of what you can bring to the, ses the CI session. Um, so I'm really excited and Heart Body is such a beautiful um, invitation for all of us to connect with ourselves more. And the connection of heart body is like a lower body invitation. So we relax out of mind, out of thoughts, out of planning, you know, out of, um, you know, the more potentially more um, the stressful energy tends to take us energetically up and up into our bodies in the upper part or up and out of our bodies. So this is an invitation to come down into body and to spend some quality time with yourself with your breath in a present moment, just receiving any sensations, any information, or even sometimes people experience um, images or visuals. So it's really open to like whatever you receive during that group experience. Um, and the way I see it is when you deep, when we deepen our connection with ourselves, we also create change in our relationships with others. And that change is often um, more harmonious and more balanced. And one thing that I am here to talk about is not only connection with self, but also um, dosage. So um, connection with self, connection with others, connection with nature, connection with spirit, and then also dosage, which I 
I infer and take in as, you know, moderate amounts of like, how much do I need connection with myself? How much do I need connection with others? How much do I need connection with spirit, with nature, etc.? So there's this beautiful way that when we're really willing to come into connection with ourselves on a regular basis, our awareness of what's true for us, our awareness of what we're responsible for and how we can create um, actions in our lives that align with what's true for us, then in turn can evolve into balance in our relationships with others and a more harmonious exchange, whether it's others, spirit, nature, etc. So I, I really love sharing about that because it's really something that I personally work with. And there is the power of awareness um, is so profound to me. So just bringing our awareness to our hearts and breath just bringing our awareness to our bodies and breath and relaxing into the present moment. And I'm curious like what that's like for you. Um, and I'm curious how an experience like that might support your, your day-to-day -day experience, your day-to-day -day experience with yourself, with others, with spirit, with non-physical energy. So um, I know um, if anyone has a question, I invite you to um, make a comment in the chat. Um, I think there's one person here, I'm not sure who it is, but thank you to all of those who joined. Um, if you have any questions now, I welcome them. And then if you're watching later, I welcome you to enter them um, in the comments or you can reach out to me through my website or even a DM. Um, so yeah, heart, body, wisdom is available to all of us and this event this group event on sunday october 23rd at 7 p.m eastern includes a 60 minute one-on-one -on -one compassionate inquiry session with me as soon as you register for the event you can sign up for a one-on-one -on -one session with me anytime in october this month or or november so everything will be over zoom and everyone who registers for the group experience will receive a recording of the guided self-connection portion. Um, and I would say too, if you're new to a guided self-connection and what that's like, I would say it's most like a combination of therapeutic yoga, intuitive healing and then of course my experiential trainings and certifications certified in transpersonal energy healing and in the mentorship for compassionate inquiry on my way there for certification for that last one um so so yeah it's largely informed by that and so if you know a little bit about those and even if you don't you're totally welcome so i'll be i'll be guiding you very gently and very specifically and it's a very respectful um, space that I invite and create. Um, yes, I will. Um, there's a link in my bio. Um, there's a link in my bio. There's a link tree and my website is heartpeacehealing.com. Um, and let me see if I can, I can write my website in here. Um, and then you can go to the upcoming events but I welcome you um, to join and you can, there's a contact page too if you have any questions. I don't even know if you can tap on that link, but um, next time I will, I will keep that in mind and maybe do a copy paste, that's a great idea. Um, thank you all so much for being here and I guess I'm gonna close, it's just a short live, but I wanted to talk about this group experience and um, you're welcome. And yeah, I just want to invite um, just presence and honoring whatever you might be moving through at this time, whether it's joy, grief, or anything else. Um, yes, so my name is Lee Ashoff, and this is Heart Peace Healing, and I invite you to join us on October 23rd, and included is a one-on-one -on -one compassionate inquiry session with me. So I'm so excited to share this with you. I'm so excited to share Compassionate Inquiry with you. It's an incredible healing approach that truly honors 
your heart, your body, your wisdom, and your truth. And as I see it, the more that we're willing to be in relationship and in connection with our hearts, our bodies, and our truth, the more we have connection to the wisdom to creating balance in our relationship with ourselves, with others, with spirit, and with nature. So thank you so much for being here. Um, I will see you soon, and I will definitely post this to my, to my page for anyone who wants to watch it later. Um, thank you for coming. Bye.